Hello, you are listening to the Omni Talk Fast Five, brought to you in partnership with the A&M Consumer and Retail Group, Firework, SPS Commerce, and Sezzle. All right. Headline number two, Shopify announced plans to cut 70%. Jesus. And let me start that one over. <laughs> <laughs> Shopify announced plans to cut. 70 would be a big number. 70% Chris. would be huge. I want to make sure I get that Tobias statistic Luki right. Tobias is like yeah. freaking out. He's like quivering in his, with his bagel in, in Montreal or, or to Toronto. Whoa. I can't even read a number. I'm not tired. <laughs> Shopify announced plans to cut 20% of its workforce and to sell off its shipping delivery service Deliver with two R's and deliver. How do you say that? I mean, you're in Barcelona. Do you roll the R's? Deliver. You can roll your R's? Oh, my you God. You can't roll your R's? I can't roll my R's, no. Oh, man. Uh, That's maybe one thing I have over yeah. here. Yeah. No, my one. My question, though, is is it, is it how come it's not deliver R? Like, you know, like a pirate? Deliver R. Uh, <laughs> well, I think, actually, that would, one, is require adding another vowel, because I think that would be deliver, D-E-L-I-V-E. Or A R G H R G H. You like the pronunciation of that R? Even the R in a pirate sound has deliver. I think it's not supposed to be that, but it forever is going to be that now on this show. Deliver R. Well, good, good thing, <laughs> good thing that it's not a part of Shopify anymore. So hopefully right. we will not have to yes, talk about right. that or go down this rabbit hole ever again. Yes, but according to the Associated Press, those affected, and this is a serious story actually. So as much as I like doing pirate sounds with deliver. According to the Associated Press, those affected will receive 16 weeks of severance pay and medical benefits. In regards to the aforementioned deliverer, Shopify plans to sell those assets to Flexport in an all-stock deal and will receive a stake of about 13% in Flexport, bringing its total ownership in Flexport up to the high teens. And what do you think this signals? You know, I, I, I think the... The layoffs are unfortunately something that we're seeing across all of the tech yeah. market right now. I think, um, you know, like we've heard at this conference quite a bit, like, you know, it was required during the pandemic. Everybody scaled up their tech teams. I think, you know, unfortunately, it's now, you know, how do we figure out how to get the balance sheet in line, make make operations as lean as possible. But I, I think when we start to look at, I, I'm going to focus more here on what Shopify's future is and why they're making this move. And I think we yeah. we've heard Shopify focus on, you know, during the pandemic, like they, they're they a great partner mm -hmm. for re for a lot of retailers, not just SMBs, but even larger retailers are using the platform. And they were really going after this idea of being, you know, Amazon, being mm -hmm. everything, trying to get as much of the, the revenue uh, or be as much of a part of the foundation of all of these retailers as they could. And it's not working. Mm. And so I think that if I were Shopify, you know, my focus would be here. I still think they have a huge opportunity in the marketplace space. They tried to do it with the shop app and some other things. I think that's if I'm Shopify right now, that's where I'd be focusing my efforts is how do I how do I rethink that? I think it was just a little bit before its time. But how do I rethink the power that I have in powering all of these retailers and really, you know, having that be a place to search? You don't need to be the fulfillment arm. Yep. You don't need to be all the things. But like focus on the, the flexibility and ease that you have as a tech provider to get stores up and running and then bring them into your ecosystem. So so net net, you think it's it's like a, you like the move. You think it's a good. It's good. Good. Uh, good I don't for like them to focus on their core competency. I you don't yeah. like that they're. I don't like the layoffs, off, but obviously, but, but I think that yeah, they're focusing like everybody has to do right now. Focus on what your unique proposition is, and it's just it's not being the the Amazon. For yeah, small right. Businesses. A hundred. Yeah, I think. I, I mean, I think it's a good move. It's a smart move inherently because, and we called it. I think you said this too, but we called it out when they were making this move, which is yeah. While it sounded good on paper, there was an important strategic call out, which is Shopify was never Amazon. Right. Amazon was originally a retailer. Amazon understood as a retailer how to get goods from place to place. Mm -hmm. Shopify was, in essence, a platform that started by helping small people try to sell a lot of stuff. Yes. Right? People that have no idea how to do e-commerce, get them up easily, right. running quickly. So that's a big difference. And so when you look at it from that strategic lens, I'm like, yep, smart move, sell this off. And- they're selling it off to Flexport, which, by the way, is coincidentally run by a 24-year 24 24-year 24 Amazon veteran in Dave Clark. So he's going to know how to do this better than they are. Right. And the stock trade makes them take upside in them selling it off and them potentially doing well with this too. So give it to the people that know how to do it. Focus on your core. Hopefully there's upside for both parties. One plus one potentially equals three. 
I like that setup. I think it's really smart at the end of the day.